how to set up the real view graphic in your so the watch so it is a very simple step by steps guys and it is highly important to have that if you want to have a realistic view of your model As you can see here so that the difference once the real view graphic is activated so as you can see it it has a very realistic view of the material that you are using whether if, if it is an organic metal so how to do that we'll do it in a very simple steps this is eight simple steps okay now how to do that i'll just here go back and uh, we'll delete so that we can do together step by step let's now here start in eight simple step by steps guides and as you can see i don't have any more i have already uh, delete if you come here to the view displays and it goes to the real view so it is not activated right right now let's now here do activate it by using eight simple steps and and the step step number one would be identify the graphic card that you are using right now so to do that we need to go to the window to the start menu right go to, to the start menu right clicks in the start menus and select run this is step number one and here we'll go type redigit and then click ok redigit and click ok redigit click ok and then click yes and here you have to go to the folder called H key current users. Go there, click down in these uh, folders, click down, and then goes to software. And here, find out the sold work. We need to find out here the, the sold works. And uh, I have sold work and see the version. I have the sold work 2021. Double click there, or just click in that error. And we go to the performance. Find out performance so we are in step number one which is i identify the graphic card you have performance and here you go to the graphic and it goes to the hardware and the hardware you will see the current so here in the current if you click there you will find and it goes to the render here in the handle if you double click you will see your graphic card that you have so what you have to do is just double clicks and then we'll go to the step number two, double click and then copy, just copy here. So once you have copy, we are still in step number one. Eh? So once you have copied your graph card, then we'll go to the step number two. And this step number two, copy. So now step number one is complete. Now step number two is go to the file called GI2 shaders. So that's step number two, goes to the folder called GI2 shaders go there and then here you will see different types of uh, G card series according to the types of your G card so what you have to do just come here and then select each one of this file and then click right click so for me because I have a GeForce you will have to go to the NV40 so if you have Intel series goes to the other now here I will go here and then I will just uh, here is the uh, number two step uh, number three now step number uh, four will be right click in g and g and v 40 for me and for you can be other if you have intel and right click there and once you right click you will have to select and the past your graph card there okay very important here so it is very important just come here right in nv40 right click and then goes to the new and then key and here you will have to pass what you have to copy your, your graph card past here just passed there passed step is done now the step number uh, five will be in these white spaces right in these white spaces in your G, uh, graph, click right click and then it goes to the word the word 32 bits value doesn't matter if you if you have system type 64 must be the word 32 bit value and step number six the value types workarounds so this is step number six type their workarounds 
Now, once you have done these steps, go to the step number uh, seven, which is uh, double click there. And then here you'll have to put the code or the value. For me, it will be three triple zero eight. So that's the value. And the, the value, you, you may have different type of, of value according to the graph card you have chosen or you have. Okay, we'll put here three triple zero eight. And once I have done that, select hexadecimal and then the, the step number eight, select hexadecimal and then click OK. So, this is the way you have to hexadecimal, step eight, and then click OK. So, it is complete all the eight steps. Now, what you have to do is just uh, check if it is, if it is uh, working. So, I will just see open again. The it should work just to double check if, if it is working or no or no. Remember that before I didn't could have any more the real view graph. So right now I have already. So if uh, I come here to the view setting, you will see that I have real view graph there. So that's the way it is. So very important here. If you have a graph card of uh, serial uh, Intel, go to other. So if you have a graph card like AMD series, GTX, GeForce goes to NV40. So if you have a graph card R, RX, go to the R in uh, the folders. So that's the way it is. I hope I could help you. And very important here, it, so it is very important. And depending uh, as well in uh, the type of the graph card, the value, that code can also be different. As you could see, I used the values three triple zero eight. So if if this value doesn't work for you, you can try another one, which is three two four zero eight. So this is if you are in the folder which is NV forty. NV forty. You can first try the code as I tried three triple zero eight. Or three two four zero eight or three one four zero eight. Now, if you are in other graphic card series like that, start with the R, like like RX five eighty for instance series, you will have to go to the folder R four two zero, and the code will be three zero four zero eight. So it is a different code for different types of. Um, uh, of um, graph uh, cards. So very important here, you may go to the other, I went to the NV40, but you may go to the others folder or you may go to the other uh, folders according in the GI2 shaders as we saw there. So it is very important here, just be in mind about that. I hope you, you, you like this video and please don't, don't forget and also consider to watch this video here. See you to the next one.